Scenes from McLaughlin Parade Field, Sergeant Audie Murphy Award candidates placing boots around the flagpole in honor of fallen service members. Hello and welcome to Mead Week, I'm Brian Spann. More on the ceremony in a moment. Also this week, a Fort Meade attorney earns a national award and a report from this year's LGBTQ observance. These stories and more, but first, the Fort Meade Medical Department Activity, or MEDAC, and Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center welcomed a new commander in a recent change of command ceremony. Colonel James Maker assumed command from outgoing commander Colonel Tracy Michael. Commanding General, Regional Health Command Atlantic, Brigadier General Mary Kruger presided over the ceremony. Our military health system and Army Medical Command are in the midst of significant transformation which requires inspired leadership and that's exactly what Colonel Michaels brought. Answering Lieutenant General Dingle's charge to be ready, responsive and relevant while providing synchronized force health protection to this entire community. In his remarks, Colonel Tracy thanked the Kimbrough and MEDAC staff that persevered through some very, very difficult times. To the Fort Meade MEDAC team, it has been my good fortune and an absolute honor to serve alongside such a dedicated and caring team of professionals. You have served at one of the most unsettling times in our nation's history and excelled at taking care of people at a time when it mattered most. You are simply the best of the best and there is none better. I am honored and humbled by the opportunity to lead this incredible team and join our mission and community partners from across Joint Task Force National Capital Region and the U.S. Army Military District of Washington. It is with great optimism I look forward to the opportunities and future successes in support of these vital mission sets. In other news, Yosefi Seltzer, an attorney at the Fort Meade Legal Office, has been recognized by the American Bar Association as the best legal assistance attorney in the Army. Each year, the ABA honors the top legal assistance attorney in each service. What led to the award in Seltzer's mind is the desire to solve problems. I tried to approach the legal assistance job, you know, in two methods. One, I'm there to, you know, train up and supervise attorneys and paralegals to do the day-to-day. -day. And I also was a practicing attorney, so I would have my own clients as well and provide expertise and guidance and keep up with trends in the law that would benefit our clients, right? So that's the day-to-day, -day. but then you also have to have vision going forward as a leader. You have to look big picture. You have to look to solve problems. Seltzer's accomplishments are too lengthy to list here. Working at the Fort Meade Legal Office since 2012, he's advocated tirelessly for service members, not just in Fort Meade and Maryland, but in adjoining states as well. Huge kudos to uh, Mr. Seltzer for going um, completely above and beyond uh, what's expected of a legal assistance attorney. Um, and continuing to use every avenue available to him to advocate for our legal assistance clients and for the program itself. Um, for me, it just highlights, once again, the outstanding, um, outstanding performance and the outstanding service that our legal assistance office provides to uh, the soldiers, service members, family members, and retirees in the Fort Meade community. Congratulations to Mr. Seltzer and the entire Fort Meade legal office staff. Elsewhere, each year the Sergeant Audie Murphy Club observes the birth of Murphy, the most highly decorated soldier in U.S. history, and at the same time, honor fallen soldiers. This year's guest speaker was Command Sergeant Major Jebin Hayes from the Cyber National Mission Force. Tributes to the fallen events differ a bit at varying installations. Here at Fort Meade, we signify the weight of the fallen by carrying a sandbag around the parade field. And as I mentioned, while the physical activity might differ from installation to installation given the tribute to the fallen event, the boots remain the same. Each boot signifying a fallen service member. Finally this week, June is LGBTQ Pride Month. The Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office hosted this year's observance at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker was Vincent Slatt, the director of the Rainbow History Project in Washington, D.C. Slatt's presentation focused on the history of LGBTQ service in government and the military, including the first service member to be reinstated after coming out as gay. There's a big case in 1979, actually, where Jamie Schumacher, a linguist, um, is fired from the NSA and appeals, goes to court, and actually wins the court case. Um, it's the first known case of someone fighting back the government and winning on those grounds. You can watch the entire observance on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.